is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. Maya Angelou. Hi, my name is Austin and welcome back to my channel. Today is day number nine of Camp Rana... Today is day number nine of Camp NaNoWriMo, April 2020, and the goal, word count for today, if you are doing a 50,000 word goal, is 15,000 words. That's a lot of words. I am still behind, as I say every single day. Currently, I am 1,200 words behind on my goal I am at. 13,800 words, but I believe that soon I will be able to catch up and I will explain why in a little bit. So far today I have written over 2,700 words, so I've had a pretty good day writing. I finished my outline, as you can probably guess from the title of the video, and I'm excited because my outline is fully done. It is complete. It is like 13,000 word outline, so it is quite long, but I am going to get to start drafting my story soon, so that is super exciting! Yesterday, after I finished filming, I didn't write any more words. I felt stressed and tired and I had a lot to do, and so I just decided to take a break from the computer to not write, which is something that I recommend if you're like me and you struggle to write when you're anxious and stressed. Sometimes writing while I feel weird can just make me feel worse, so I didn't write. I actually <laughs> did write, but it was not for my Camp NaNoWriMo project. I had to do a homework assignment for one of my classes and we need to write like a five page draft. It's a semester long project and it's due today so I wrote it last night, last minute. Not last minute, 24 hours before the last minute actually. So I did that and I did not want to write any more in my project. But today I felt a little bit better so I went behind the computer and I finished my draft and I'm really excited. I like where it ended up. My draft is a little too in-depth, like always, but oh well. I think that you should go write your words. It doesn't matter if you have only six words so far, this Camp NaNoWriMo. That would be pretty bad, but if you do, you can still catch up. There are people who have already finished NaNoWriMo. I have seen some people who have already completed their goals this early, so you have over double the amount of time they have. Sure, they are a little bit insane people who can write that much day after day, but you will only have to be half as insane as them to finish your goal if you're starting from nothing. So you can do it. I believe you can do it. Just be half insane and you will rock everything. If you still need to get your words in for the day, please go do it. I am here for you. You can get your words in. I think that you should go write your words because they are going to help you create your story, which is super important. Share it with the world. Don't keep it inside of you. Do what Maya Angelou says and put it into the world like me, even though I'm failing a little bit. But please go write your words. I want to read your story someday so badly and so my plan for tomorrow is to write the very very basic outline for my second and third book of my series. It's going to be a three book series, that's what I'm planning. And so I want to just write a very quick like section by section, I don't even know if I'll do chapters, just like a sentence sentence about what's going to happen and another sentence about what's going to happen just so I can get all my thoughts down on where I want my series to ultimately go so that I can include anything I need to include in book one during my first draft and I don't have to edit later. I just want to get a head start on that. Once I finish that in another day or two I will be ready to write my draft and I think then I will be able to catch up on my words because 
I feel like drafting is slightly easier to write words than outlining because I can be flowery sometimes and I can talk about the color of the walls which is something I don't usually do in my outline. But let's face it, I am overly descriptive in my outline and I'll be like, what if I forget that the floor is hardwood? So I will put it in there, which is something I may have written today or may have not. I'm not going to say, I'll let you guess for yourself. Just to prove how pathetic I can be while outlining I thought I would read you just one or two things I wrote today that are too much that I realized after I'd written them that, wow, I am trying too hard in my outline. This may answer something I refused to say earlier, but here is a quote from my outline. He sits down on the hardwood floor and begins to sob. I'm really glad that I will remember when I'm writing my draft that it's a hardwood floor, it's not carpeted. He picks up a gray rock. Thank God I put that down. Imagine when I'm writing my draft if I had said brown rock. The two make eye contact, and they keep eye contact until dot dot dot. Spoilers, I can't continue, but I need to remember that they make eye contact, and they keep it until a certain point when I'm writing my draft, because otherwise I would have no clue what's going on. Sometimes I am also not as descriptive. Quote, just make a dramatic scene. As you can see, my outline is full of necessary details for my story. The truth is, most of those things probably won't even make it into the story. I tend to change things when I'm writing, so I don't know what I'm doing. That was what went on with me today during Camp NaNoWriMo. I hope you had as good of a day or better than me. If not, you still have time. I'm, there is still time to have a good day or you can have a good day tomorrow and get your words in. I believe you can get all caught up. You can do it. If anyone in this world can do it, it is you. I promise. I know you can do it. Camp NaNoWriMo is hard, but it will feel good when you accomplish it. Trust me, it will. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm excited to see you tomorrow on day number 10. I am going to run out of fingers starting in two days. So be there for that too on day 11. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I make daily NaNoWriMo videos. That's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.